My name is Mike Tuyan. I am a father of two young boys, ages 3 and 5, and a husband to a caring wife, Rochelle. I am like most young parents, pursuing that elusive successful life. Getting that dream car, that dream house, that dream job, those latest gadgets, and taking pride in them by posting pictures on Facebook to boast them to my friends. But this pursuit affected my family life, my personal health, and my relationship with God. I met Mike when we were both serving in the singles ministry here in CCF Cagayan de Oro. Mao ni siya nga time nga contento kaayo ko sa Ginoo og duol kaayo ang akong relasyon sa iya ha. Throughout our courtship, engagement and until we finally got married, we focused on God and were determined to honor him. After we had our first son Luke, things started to change. We became so preoccupied with our own little world, and we felt that we had to prioritize our son over everything else, even Sunday worship, ministry, and d-group. My son was my whole world, and Mike was looking for more opportunities in the business world to build us a better future. The blessing of our child became the focus rather than the blesser. I was slowly consumed by what the world considered as successful that I began to lose my eternal perspective in life. And then, God broke me. In a span of one week, I was rushed to the emergency room twice. I suffered from unexplainable hypertension. In the hospital, I came face to face with how fleeting my life is. I was so afraid. I was discharged a second time. I was brought to the hospital again a few hours due to anxiety attacks. I remember when I was 13 when how I saw my mother fell victim to hypertension. For another 13 years, we had to care for her. My mother's experience made a big impact on me. I can clearly remember how at some point, my mother's condition became a heavy burden to my family. As I was suffering from hypertension myself, I realized that I was so young with a very young family. I couldn't seem to accept my situation. So when I, kung na yung mga adlaw nga dili ko katulog unya kuyawan ko permanente even though okay ra nga akong gibati wala akong sakit the medicines didn't help I was overcome with fear it was during this time that I sought God more than ever I really felt so close to God God gave my husband a new outlook in life that life is short and only what we do for God will last and the most important thing in our lives is our relationship with Jesus Christ. During those times when I felt so afraid and it seemed that my days were so dark, I cried and I poured out my heart to God. During those sleepless nights, I opened my Bible and found refuge and comfort in His Word. God clearly says in Philippians 4, 6, and 7, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. God's promises are far greater than my fears. I can say that my husband is now a new man. He has really set his heart and mind on loving and serving Christ Jesus. He is becoming the spiritual leader of our family as God has called him to be. My husband has turned down business dealings and invitations that were not in line with what God has planned for us. And we are content with that. You know, good, na genuine peace and contentment kita ragi nato on Jesus Christ. Salamat kay ko nga na yung asawa, gawang anak. We are all serving God as one family.